One of the images of Pope Francis that's emblazoned on my heart and mind is this one. The Pope was holding his usual audience in St. Peter's Square when the Holy Father saw this man. The Pope, without halting, came to him, gently touched this man's face, kissed him, and blessed him. This fella, Benicio Riva, we later learned, has a painful genetic condition that affects his entire body head to toe, causing tumors to grow, very painful. And you can imagine the stigma, the rudeness and disrespect this man has experienced in his life. People would see him and run away. They would avoid him. They would not let him sit next to them on the bus. But Vinicio has a friend in Pope Francis. In the gospel today, Jesus just finished his Sermon on the Mount, and what's the first thing he does? He cures a leper. Right away, Jesus practiced what he preached. This leper does something unheard of. He approaches Jesus. See, lepers in Jesus' time just didn't do that. Lepers were isolated. They were kept far away from the community, banished outside the city walls to live in primitive, dark caves. But this leper trusts that he can approach Jesus. He won't be turned away. He has tremendous faith in Jesus. He says, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. And that's one of the greatest professions of faith in the entire Bible. And Jesus did what we saw Pope Francis do. Jesus touched him. And just as this poor fellow courageously came to Jesus to ask for healing, you can do the same thing. That is why we have the sacraments of reconciliation and anointing of the sick. You come to Jesus, and Jesus welcomes you, and he wants to talk with you. He's like a doctor. He asks, where does it hurt? And then Jesus reaches out and touches you. Today, you can say to Jesus, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. And no matter what we have, no matter what we've done, and no matter how ugly we might feel inside or outside, Jesus will reach out to you and touch you with love. And that's how we're supposed to live, right? Like Pope Francis, we are to see beyond the disfigurements and see the person. Remember the golden rule that sums up the teaching of the Law and the Prophets? To treat others the way you wish to be treated? We who need to be healed need to be healers ourselves. May Almighty God bless and keep you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have an uplifting Friday. And I hope to see you at Mass this weekend, 5 o'clock on Saturday evening and on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. and 10.15 a.m. Mass this weekend will be celebrated in Robert Martz Hall across from the church. We have new pews being installed in the church. We practice serious safety protocols, and we ask that you wear a mask. You wear a mask as you come into the church and find your place. There at your seat, you may remove your mask, but then put the mask back on when you go to communion and as you leave to go home. And we plan to broadcast our Mass at 10.15 a.m. Sunday. Have a blessed weekend, everyone.